Hey guys, Tomboy601, and welcome to the Zeton. The Zeton? I think it's Zeton, because I say Zeton, and therefore it's the other way. I think it's Zeton. Zeton, Zeton, the Tier 7 German battle cruiser, uh, the last one we are previewing this week. And, uh, you know, she's, she's the crown jewel of the line for now. Uh, if you haven't been with us for these previews, We'll go ahead and go through the stats, the build, mod slots, do all that, uh, show off a game in it. Today we have a really good game. We achieve a certain five kill medal, so uh, be sure to stay tuned for that. So with all that said, let's go ahead and dive on in. If you've been here for these uh, previews, you know what our loadout has been. Cunningham and Von Hipper with Clara Tesla as the commander running Boomsticks, Porcupine, Firefighter, Master Mechanic, and will to rebuild. As far as the upgrade slots go, we are running uh, the secondary mod. Then we are running damage control mod, though once things get ironed out, I'll probably switch over to prop mod, uh, concealment mod, and finally main battery mod three. After that, let's go ahead and take a look at those consumables. Get three, you're limited to three damage control parties, five heals, uh, three enhanced secondary targetings and two sonars with the sonars reaching out to five and 5.6 kilometers for ships and 3.8 on torpedoes. Let's go ahead and take a look at those stats. So first off hit point six, 2,900 with armor thickness of 19 and 380 millimeters torpedo reduction is going to be 22%. Let's go ahead and take a look at that armor. And as you can see, we got a 27 millimeter bow. Not exactly going to be holding up against 16 inch guns. It's, you're gonna have to play a little bit creative with it. Good news, we do have some fantastic side plating all along this ship, uh, maxing out near 250, uh, 250 millimeters, which is absolutely sufficient if you are angled correctly. And that's exactly what you're going to have to do. Uh, if you do notice, we do also have two rear turrets and one front turret. Zeiten is probably my favorite of the line just on looks alone. You know, she got that super star destroyer look and uh, she's absolutely sexy as far as the uh, Citadel goes. We can see it's right below the waterline, no turtle back protecting it. Um, so you are vulnerable to some, to some big hits if you get, if you're improperly angled. So just like the rest of the line, you kind of have to be on the lookout, be wary of, of your vulnerability. Artillery, you got three two-barreled 406 millimeter guns, firing range of 16.7 kilometers. Reload time on them, 17.8 seconds, and a 180 time of 33.4. Let's go back to that. 406 millimeter guns, firing 17.8 seconds. It's absolutely beautiful. HE shell damage, 4,800. AP shell damage, 11,500. Uh, secondary range, 11.2 kilometers which is absolutely fantastic. Torpedoes, uh, you're looking at uh, 16,533 damage, uh, four, four barrels on each side of the ship, seven and a half kilometer range, 56 knots on those torpedoes. AA defense lacking, just like all of the other ships of the line, max range of 4.5 kilometers, uh, max, minimum damage of 133, and you'll add 172 damage per second if they get within three kilometers. Maneuverability, 31 knots, turning radius 820 meters, rudder shift time 14.9 seconds, and finally concealment 12.7 kilometers by sea, 10.6 by air, and 14.3 when firing in smoke, which is absolutely excellent. Uh, stealth is, is sort of key to making these boats work. So uh, those are all the stats. Let's go ahead and dive on in to a match with it. So welcome to the Atlantic. Uh, as you're going to notice we play this match very similar to the way we played yesterday's uh, Prince Heinrich Friedrich or Prince Prince Heinrich's uh, match just because, well, uh, Atlantic is a very much a place where the battle cruisers shine. So we are going to shine on this map. Uh, if you didn't get the vibe from earlier, Zeton is a bit different, but still a ton of fun, a couple of weird quirks that it has is well, the majority of its, uh, of its firepower 
is on its rear deck. So the goal is to get in a position where you are able to kite away or to get in range of the enemy with your secondaries and kind of be able to angle to the rear because of, of course, as we saw the 27 millimeter bow, that ain't doing nothing to stop uh, the 16 inch guns that are quite common at tier seven. So the idea is get into a position that one is relatively close that you have the opportunity to use those torpedoes if needed, that has the ability to, to fire off those secondaries, that you can use uh, your relative stealthiness, right? 12.7 kilometers on a, on, a battle, on a battleship in this game, quite stealthy, uh, and get in a place where you can absolutely punish people with those beautiful, beautiful uh, 406 millimeter guns. So that's the plan. We're gonna push into that similar corner. We can see, Already we have a large threat to us. We have that Iowa. Uh, we are going to have to make sure we stay angled. Uh, if not, he is going to punish us. What we want to do, try to get in the cover of this island that is off our bow right now. Try to make it around that before the Iowa is able to make it around his island over there. Uh, and we'll see how this plays out. So uh, that's, that's the current battle plan as it stands and maybe if we can get in close enough we will be able to engage that iowa with our secondaries as we angle out of course iowa being a fast battleship he was always going to beat us around that island uh, he goes ahead sends some shells our way i do the patented if i don't look he can't hit me technique and by that i mean just turning my camera away and praying it's, it's my patented technique y'all you know who says you can't take one for flinching anyways we're trying to still get around this island. We can see our secondaries are engaging, which is exactly what we wanted to occur at this point. We're getting a couple of hits there, an overpen here and there. Uh, and we can see an Atlanta B pushing in. Oh boy, uh, do we have someone who will be made of paper, which is exactly what we want. We can see we're starting to slow down uh, here right now. This is where um, that prop mod would have come in handy. Uh, that's the one thing that I don't, like about uh these boats is how slow they they slow down it is it is like belfast levels anyways also enemy sharn horse comes starts to come around the corner we go ahead and pop our sonar so we can keep an eye on him we know he's a sharn horse so uh he's gotten it in his head that he's going to torp us we go ahead we have better firing angles on those torpedoes we're going to turn out try to go bow into these torps of course this does disadvantage us uh from Iowa's standpoint, just because that Iowa will be able to punch through our bow. But more importantly, we're gonna dodge those torpedoes. All of our torpedoes rang true on the shardy. So he goes down, that's our first kill of the match. Atlanta uh, taking up the bold strategy of open water gunboating with AP. Listen folks, that's his choice. I would not advise running a Atlanta B in the open water uh, with no really way to retreat. But this gentleman is doing it, and let's credit where credit's due. He's going to get some good hits firing the AP, especially when we go broadside here. Iowa uh, goes goes ahead, hides behind that island. We're going to take this opportunity, try to turn around. Uh, we get a couple of hits. Of course, our secondaries are chewing through the Atlanta. Atlanta has essentially uh, uh, destroyer armor, so we're going to do it. We do hit a Citadel there for some massive damage, and, uh, well, our secondaries are going to be able to finish him off. And Iowa pops up back around that corner. We do need to be worried. He's starting to uh, try to get a better angle just on the rest of our team. Because, of course, we've taken out two of his team members. He absolutely slaps us because, of course, no turtle back. Uh, we are broadside to him. So he takes a huge chunk out of us. Our sonar is about to go down. So it's time to uh, take a measure, reposition, understand what we want to do. We're finally in the position that we first wanted to. We can see on the other side of the island, uh, we have a now a Nagato sailing into the open water uh, and then two cruisers right behind him. We're going to keep an eye on this Nagato, plan a turn to go out just in case we want to start to engage that Nagato. Uh, also, just be able to get guns on target. We'll try to take a cheeky shot at the Iowa. A couple of shells hit the, hit the island right there, unfortunately. I think nothing ends up ringing true. But that Nagato has committed fully. We see the torpedo. We're going to go ahead and leave some torpedoes on the indicator. Uh, send them just out because it appears he's just going for a sort of push into open water. We'll take it. Secondaries start going. We get the high caliber after that first salvo on Nagato. We're going to start lining them up. Try to get that front gun around. Of course, the advantage 
to uh, the turret layout uh, is that when you're bow on with this kind of setup, uh, two of your guns, that rear turret is a 360 gun, so you can usually keep it on target, and then you'll usually have at least one other gun ready to go because you have the rear gun that's facing backwards, the front gun's facing forwards, and uh, you'll at least have two thirds of your firepower ready to go at any one time. Two torpedoes hit the Nagato. We're continuing our 360 turn here. We can see that rear gun is doing what we want it to do, where it's just staying locked on target, uh, making it a very versatile weapon for us. We go ahead, take out Nagato, and now uh, we have a couple things. One, we still have that Iowa to deal with, and if I'm being honest, I don't want to deal with him. Uh, I think, one, he is proven, he is accurate. I, I have a feeling my talents are going to be better used on the remaining cruisers, so that is what I want to do. Uh, the only problem, we have a Mines who has dug in like a tick. Mines is a cruiser that is based off of the Hipper platform, right? It's a, it's a Hipper class hull. If you're not aware of the Hipper class hull, uh, two banks of torpedoes on either sides with excellent firing angles, which means pushing into it is not going to be fun. Is not something I would advise. And to kick it off more, he is now uh, sonaring us. So he knows exactly our play, exactly our maneuver. And that's not good because when you're when you're pushing in to someone with torpedoes, they always have the advantage, especially when they are dug in like that, um, especially when they can kind of let the torpedoes go and then bugger off around the other side of the island as you crest around the corner, you are at a disadvantage. So our plan here, burn the time, let our sonar regain. Um, we'll go ahead, fire some shots at the Boise here, um, see if we can get a couple of rounds into him. We know he has a super heal, so we know he could be a problem later on in the game. Let's see if we can get a couple rounds into him. Our sonar is back up. That gives us the all clear to start to push into this mines, see what we can do. As you can see, we've tagged him back. He is kind of pushed away from his dug in position. He's prepped himself on the corner of that island, which is a smart move. It gives him an escape route, which I totally uh, don't blame him for. Uh, we do have this end, but pushing in, uh, bow tanking the the uh, mines, uh, which I guess would be the smarter play. Mines is close to range. Boise, uh, American guns, probably going to be a little bit less of a hassle. Mines coming around the corner right here. We have the sonar ready to go. Um, of course, we are waiting because, you know, he, it's it's another German cruiser. He's going to use torpedoes. It's kind of his shtick. There his torpedoes go. Thankfully, uh, they don't quite have the range to get to us, so we don't need to really worry about it. Um, I think they do, though, have the range on the Edinburgh. Anyways, uh, we are now going to take the rest of this match and uh, struggle to uh, hit the Boise at long range. So while we do that, and you can enjoy my terrible marksmanship, let me give you my final thoughts uh, about this line. Guys, I love this line. I think it's fantastic fun. Uh, it is definitely more challenging to play. Um, I think it is definitely one of the more challenging lines to play but it is absolutely the one that has brought a smile to my face every single time I play it. Uh, so for what it's worth, I cannot wait for the tier eight to be researchable. I have the funds. I think I'm just gonna instantly go ahead, try to get Z and Max researched out during this. As far as what I would do to help boost the line, because it is, it as we have talked about, this line does feel like it's in early access. The devs have already said they plan uh, to bring more damage control parties to this line through either a commander or through skills. They haven't really decided. We'll see. I have a feeling that will poke its head out next update when they go live in full. But what else could we do to this line? I think there's two things that I would like to see done to this line to just make it a little bit better. Uh, the first has to do with fire duration. Uh, right now, the cruiser-based battle cruisers, that being Atlanta, Azuma, Siegfried, uh, Graf Spey, they have a sort of nerf applied to them of a 45 second fire duration. I would love to see that come over to this line just as a throughput of like, oh, if you're gonna play a battle cruiser, you're gonna get a 45 second fire duration. I think it would just be kind of a cool through, through leg, uh, one that doesn't really hurt the line too much or buff the line too much, but would be a cool, hey, you're playing a battle cruiser, this is your fire duration. Cool, awesome. My other like wishful thinking thing is over in the third mod slot on these boats. 
I would love to be able to equip the rudder shift mod, just because once again, they're battle cruisers. They share that slight cruiser DNA. And if we can get that slight cruiser DNA with an extra rudder in the third slot, I think that could be fun. But those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts on the line? Let me know in the comments below as we wrap up that cracking guys. What do you think? Like I said, let me know down in the comments below. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See ya.